everybody, it's Tracy Pratu with the Roofing Contractors Association of Washington and I am here to give a Toys for Tots recap. This has been a challenging year 2020 and I'm kind of glad to see it go as I'm sure most of you are. But um, one of the things that is really dear to my heart is Toys for Tots and I guess that's maybe because I'm a mom and a grandma and um, the joy that I see on those little faces on Christmas morning just means so much to me as it does to any parent. And this year, especially with the COVID and so many people out of work, it was so important that we could um, collect toys for this um, great operation that Toys for Tots has done for many, many years. And last year we got started with them and this year we really had a commitment to do so much more and um, it was challenging for me to come up with ideas because we couldn't have our gala and then we had planned to have an outdoor uh, toy collection event which got um, stopped at the last minute um, because the COVID cases rose and it was not legal to do it anymore. So we really had to come together and figure out how we were going to do this and that's meant a lot of time on the road, a lot of time on the phone, a lot of time that all of you invested in collecting toys but let me tell you we had some great sponsors this year and i'm just going to run down the list state roofing malarkey padco gaf atchkins roofing manson roofing rbcr contracting convoy cottony law group um sre siding and roofing access roofing and gutter eagle view preferred roof services Legends Roofing, Norwesco, Chinook, Fields Roof Service, Snyder, um, my neighborhood, the Summit neighborhood, many of my um, neighbors saw the U-Haul truck in my driveway and wondered what we were up to, and toys started appearing on my um, front porch, and the Pioneer Collective, which is the building that we rent our office from, also went out of their way to collect toys as well. The outcome of all of this was like I said, a lot of time on the road for me, but we were able to collect um, enough money to donate a very large check that would cover 400 children to have toys at Christmas. I filled my Durango three times and my husband's truck one time, and then I rented a U-Haul and for three days ran around and picked up everyone's toys and we filled that whole U-Haul. So by the time that it was all said and done, we collected more toys, more money, more everything than we have ever done in the past. And that was all with us not even being together. Just think of what we could have done if we could have been together. So I'm excited for next year. I'm excited um, to kick off our toy drive um, at the end of the golf tournament and send you all home with these boxes here and um, have you start in September and um, hopefully we can double our donation and double at least double our um, you know monetary funds that are collected as well so we can give a lot more kids a great Christmas. Toys for Tots has been around um, since the 40s and it is a Marine Corps Reserve operation. All the money collected, all of the toys, everything, you know, they distribute. In King County alone, last year was like 87,000 toys went out. So when you think about how many kids were needing help this year in our state alone, what they did was fantastic. And what we did was fantastic. And I just want to congratulate all of you on a job well done. At this point in time, we put together a little video like we always do of some pictures and some fun and some other videos that we took along the way. So we hope that you can take time, enjoy this, and think about how your business might incorporate this into maybe even a marketing plan for next year and really make this something that we can do every year and really show how the roof community cares. Because I know that all of you people have a big heart. I mean, I went out to Legends Roofing and Don Bowes had bought 30 of these great big yellow metal Tonka trucks and that filled my entire car. And um, after we'd already delivered the toys, I got a call from Preferred saying, oh my goodness, all of our employees brought in more stuff. Is it too late? And I went over there and we filled my car up again. So 
there were so many big hearted people out there doing just what they could. And I just can't thank you enough. It was really exciting. It was so exciting to deliver the toys and to see um, the Marines and how happy they were that we could we could follow up and actually, you know, do another great job this year. So with all that said, we have a great 2021 coming up with our CAW. And I'm so glad that about 40% of you took um, advantage of our early bird renewal this year. And um, I know that there's more people that will be renewing and new members. And we have some new events like the um, trap and skeet shoot. And we're trying to focus on some outdoor things in case the COVID still hangs around. But for the most part, we've got some great things planned and we've got education with our lunch and learns and we've got all of our great weekly newsletters that go out to you um, via constant contact that keep you updated on, on a lot of information. And then we have our quarterly news magazine that's all original content and we just got a lot going on and we're really excited about it. We're really excited what we can bring to you in 2021. So please remember, I'm always here in the office. Please call me. I think everyone's got my cell. Um, our office number is 253-561-7229. And of course, there's a ton of information on rcaw.com. And as you're, if you're a member, you can get into our um, member clubhouse and exercise all your benefits with member resource advantage rewards. So we really are trying to be relevant and bring you so many new and different things and being able to band together like we did for this great cause just makes me feel really good about our association and where we're heading in the new year. So with all that, happy new year, happy 2021, see ya 2020, and um, we'll talk soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.